Hello from the Chicken House Press. Oh my goodness, what a journey this has been to get to this point where I am sitting at my desk in my beautiful new office, launching a brand new component to my business, making major life moves to be the woman I want to be. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I just... <sighs> I am stepping out on a big personal venture, making some major life changes that I am so thrilled and excited about. And I just want to bring you up to speed on where I'm at and what is up. So many of you have followed along on the journey of renovating and outbuilding on my property into my new beautiful workspace, my new home office. And it has been such a fun adventure to take on such a daunting project when really we had no idea what we were doing. We were in lockdown for COVID and couldn't have anyone come in and help us. We had to figure it all on our own. I can't believe that we pulled this off and I am so proud of what we have done. I thought it would be fun to take a little look back and really see how far this thing took us in such a short period of time and how in that time I made some big life shift decisions. The chicken house is this tired old outbuilding on my property. The story goes that once it did hold chickens and then in the 70s it was renovated into sort of a livable space for the adult child of the person who lived in the main house. So it had paneled walls, a little kitchen counter and cupboard, a couple closets and electrical. That's it. Pretty bare bones. And what we did was we stripped it down to bare walls and started again. After a big clean out, we had to fix walls. We had to add some drywall, re-insulated and drywalled the ceiling. We painted, we laid floor, we installed lights, we got furniture, we painted a black wall. Oh my goodness. The way it all came together is just such a gift. For a few years now, I have dreamed of owning a storefront. I want to have an event space, work studio and storefront bookstore. No big deal, right? That's not too much to ask for. So this has always been in my mind. And monthly, I would log on to realtor.ca and see what was available. And I mean, you all know that real estate went crazy during COVID. Things were just ridiculous. But during that time, the library in my local small town went on the market. I have deep affection for this building for nostalgic reasons, but also because it's just a beautiful piece of architecture and local history. And I love my little town. So we connected with a local agent. We went and toured it and decided <laughs> not to put an offer in. There were so many things that held us back. There were so many reasons to do it, but many more that held us back. And then when we heard the price it went for, we wouldn't have got it anyways. And then I found out what it's being used for and it broke my heart. But what did come out of all of that was reevaluating what I already had, which was this building. In February, we went through the little library saga. In March, we had a warm day and we were sitting around a socially distanced campfire with a couple friends and talked about this space. And we were like, do you think we could do it? So we came in and we looked around and they were like, yeah, you can do it. Why wouldn't you do it? 
and why wouldn't we? I don't know. I don't know why. I think I was so focused on having a storefront that customers could come into that I refused to look at what was right in front of me. So the beginning of April, we hit go on the renovation and we just dug in and we worked hard every weekend and most days after work, it was a lot, but wow, was it worth it. I have been running my small business side hustle since 2016. When I wrote my first novel, I was so, so proud of it and struggled to find an agent, to find a publisher because it's literary fiction and literary fiction doesn't sell, they say. So everyone said no. And that was frustrating because I really believe that my book deserved to be on the shelf. So I started my own little publishing company and I published my own book. And out of that move, I started my magazine, which is a Canadian literary arts magazine called Blank Spaces, currently working on the 21st issue. And over the past five years, I have published Canadians from every province and territory except Nunavut. So if you're from Nunavut, I'm looking for work from you. I wanna be able to say I've published from every place in Canada. All things considered, the magazine has done really well, but I haven't had the time to really dedicate to it. And over the years, I started taking on other publishing projects and inviting other authors in and supporting them through their publishing journey and publishing their books under my imprint, which means there's a little section of the Library and Archives Canada that has books published by Alana Resnick Publishing. And that's pretty cool. I feel like COVID really shone a light on a lot of things for me personally. One of the biggest things that came out of it was that during stay at home orders, I got to stay home and that didn't feel like a burden to me. I love working from home. Even before I had this beautiful space, I just, I love being home. I love that the urgency was taken out of my day that I could begin with a coffee and a book on the couch. I just, mm, it was so good. And in my performance review last year, when we were kind of a few months into COVID, I told my boss that I want to keep working from home as much as they can let me because I feel like I, I'm better, I'm happier, it's better for me. That was step one. So I've been grinding away for a few years now, adding authors and working to grow the magazine, but I don't have a lot of time because I am working a job and I have my family. There's always things that require my attention. So nothing gets 100%. That's not good for anybody. Something that has really major potential was gaining limited growth because I couldn't dedicate the time that it needs. Of course, with being home more, I gained the gift of time and I was able to pour a little bit more into my own business and invest a little more in myself. In December, 2020, I attended an online workshop for side hustlers and small business owners. It was really great. It was encouraging to see all these people with their little side businesses looking to grow. And I am proud to be part of that community. I think that's really fun. There was one of the panel members, a woman who started a small little business that has boomed into I, multi-million, I'm not sure, really impressive. And she was talking about how to structure your business and how to honor yourself in your business. And she said something that gutted me. <laughs> she said, don't just pay yourself $17 an hour. And um, I don't know if I heard anything after that.
Now, I've worked for the same place for almost 19 years. And I don't make as much per hour as the years I've worked. And when she said, don't, don't just pay yourself $17 an hour, I thought, but that's, <laughs> that's what I've been getting paid. I gave my heart and soul to that job and I, I gained so much. I learned so much and I, I really believe I wouldn't be where I am today without that job. So I am so grateful, but I, hearing her say that made me take a pause and ask myself, what am I worth? Am, am I worth more than $17 an hour and do I believe that? And I don't know if I did. I just accepted, just accepted it because that's what you do. And um, I got really angry and I, I had to work through, through some things. I explored what this meant for me and I asked myself, what do I want and who do I want to be and what am I worth? So within a few weeks of that seminar, I launched my mentoring program, which is really just an opportunity for conversation. So for any writer struggling with where they're at, looking for guidance, um, questions about next steps, maybe exploring the possibility of taking a publishing journey with me. I didn't know that I was qualified, but I thought I have a lot of things to share. And, and I thought, I'm just, I'm going to test it. I'm going to, I'm going to see if someone would pay me $65 an hour to talk to me. Am I worth $65 an hour? Am I worth $17 an hour? So it turns out that I'm really good at it. <laughs> the feedback I've got from people who have signed up for my mentoring program or people that have signed up just for a one-off consultation has been really great. And that has given me confidence to take further steps. So since that moment in January, I have really put my foot to the gas pedal and pushed myself harder than ever. I am working extremely hard. I am so tired, but so thrilled at the results I'm seeing. We've only just come through June and since January, so six months, in six months I have increased my net small business income of 2020 by three times still while working my day job so imagine if i didn't have to work my day job how much more can i grow this thing so after we had done this renovation project things just sharpened for me and became really clear and i knew what i wanted so i sat down with my boss and I let him know that I will be leaving my position at the end of December. So that's still another six months that I'm going to try and finish up really well there, set up someone new to take my position, to take over the work I've been doing, and I am going to be fully on my own. And I feel so scared <laughs> and so supported. I have my family backing me 100%. I've reached out to a local business mentoring center and they're getting me set up with advisors and consultants. I feel like I have set myself up for success and I feel like I am worth it. <sighs> That's where we're at and I didn't expect that to be an emotional <laughs> journey.
What is Chicken House Prep? It is the box that contains all of the things I'm doing. I'm so connected to this property, so connected to this building. It has always been here and always been called the Chicken House, so I wasn't about to erase that history. So we are calling it the Chicken House Press, and it is housing Alana Rusnak Publishing, which is the publishing business I have already established. It's also housing Blank Spaces Magazine. And if you haven't checked that out, please go to blankspaces.ca. I would love if you would subscribe. Digital subscriptions are what keeps me in business, but certainly sign up for print if that's more your thing. The print issue is beautiful. In partnership with Alana Rusnak Publishing, Chicken House Press is going to begin offering a more traditional publishing model that is not ready to launch yet, but what that means is that I, as the publisher, will assume all risk of publishing if I believe a title is gonna sell. My main mission in all these things is to champion the work of creatives, to give a home to the hard work of all the writers out there. I don't know the statistic, but there is a huge percentage of people who say they want to write a book. The people who actually follow through, that's much smaller. Writing a book is a major undertaking and it takes discipline and dedication and heart and soul and blood, sweat and tears. I have set myself up here to be the one to guide you on your way and if it suits you to publish your work. So. I really can't wait to see what these next steps bring for me. I am excited for growth. I am anticipating needing to hire help in the not too distant future. And I'm making that an actual goal because I believe if you put something out there, it will manifest. I need help with administration and I need marketing help. And that's something that I'm working towards being able to get. The best way you can support me is to just share. Share what I'm offering with all your creative friends. Let them know where to find me. Everything now can be found at chickenhousepress.ca. From there, they'll find Alana Rusnak Publishing as well as Blank Spaces. I'm just really looking forward to making a little dent in the publishing industry and making a difference in the life of an author. I can say from personal experience that there is nothing more special than after months or years of work to hold your book in your hands. I want to give that gift to really anyone who's ready for it. So if you are an author, if you are a poet, if you are a children's illustrator, if you are on a journey of self-discovery and you want to tell that story, I am here for it and I'm here for you and I want to help you bring that dream into a reality. Sign up for a consultation or maybe you need a mentor, maybe you just want to chat, maybe you want to know more about what this is about. So find me and we'll figure it out together.